So back in May, when I first came to Asheville, it actually was the, it was the second time I was in Asheville, and I woke up from a dream, sat right up out of the dream. I think I've mentioned this before on my channel, and I remember what I was dreaming about, but one thing stayed in my head, and now September 23rd. At the time, I, I the date, and a lot of people throw around dates all the time. But then I started realizing how significant of a date it was. September 23rd is the equinox. It's a, it's a balance point of the year. Instead of a rising as with the spring equinox, it's a falling. It's a collapse. And it's when we move from Virgo into Libra. It also happens to be the beginning of the 12th tone of the Mayan ninth wave, which ends October 28th, 2011. And one person's interpretation of the twelfth tone is when man becomes aware of himself, learns the name of God. There's a lot of ways to interpret that statement. Um, and to me, it's a moment of remembering of who we truly are. And so, there's a lot of fear mongering being thrown around what's happening in the world, and people are getting caught up in, caught up in it, getting lost in it, getting trapped in it. The psyops is running amok, and light workers are getting even confused and don't know what to do and a few days ago I went to get my pendulum I have a really close relationship with my pendulum and I was going to ask you this very specific question around the equinox and I was phrasing the question as I went to get my pendulum um, and I got it and I was walking there's a little waterfall here next to my side and I always wash my pendulum before I use it before I even got to the waterfall to wash my pendulum, I heard a voice. And sometimes I phrase how I hear a voice in many different ways. I call it spirit, I call it me, I call it whoever. Regardless, it is me. Because this is all me. Which is really all us. There is no me. And so I'm just cluing into the us, the flow, the vibrations that's in the air and picking up on them. And really just reconnecting to the awareness of who we really are. And what I heard very clearly was, what is in your heart? And I stopped. I didn't need to go use my pendulum and ask the universe for a question, because the universe asked me a question, and I knew the answer already. Because I talk all this science and metaphysics and, and logic and and trying to save the world with my research and things are coming along beautifully and some great things are manifesting but all the science and logic and other people's perspectives and opinions and and the news all this external information I don't need it I don't need any of it because what's in my heart is what's guiding me. It's what's true. And the big realization is my intuition, I'm not going to stray from it. Because this whole life I've had intuition, a very fundamental intuition about what's to take place on this planet. And I've used science and logic to try to reinforce, justify my intuition because I was so skeptical and I couldn't trust it. But the more I trust it, the more the manifestation becomes fruitful and prosperous. There's a realness in my life. I'm here right now and I can feel it. So I can toss all the logic aside. I don't have to think with the mind, I can feel with the heart. My heart says, prepare the mind for embarking on a beautiful journey and some people say it's bad and some people say it's good but there's no polarity in truth with the situation there will be chaos and you can judge how you feel the chaos and I'm a big proponent of chaos theory if people hear the word chaos they think it's negative but no it's really understanding the essence of what chaos is
and our world is about to dramatically change into a nothing we have been able to fathom before. So, what I'm relaying to you and the most important message is, in my heart, there's dramatic change around the corner, right around the corner. And the most important thing is preparing our mind and opening our heart for what's about to take place. And be there for your friends and family, and most importantly for yourself. This is a journey for you to remember you and to reconnect to us. So, we're in September, September 1st, and it's going to be epic. Namaste.